their families that come along to the weddings. Some of them, they haven't seen their loved one for weeks, months. They may never have seen them when they've been ill. It gives them that, that chance to have a lasting memory of that person happy through their grieving process. I've been a wedding planner for now about 15 years probably. I just love organising them. I want to be able to give as many people the opportunity to get married that are in this situation as possible because they just totally deserve to have something really good happen to them. Emma was a bride that got in touch with us a couple of years ago now. Emma is the most beautiful, beautiful woman and Jamie was just the cheekiest man I have ever met. He was gorgeous. We met them and talked about what their dream wedding would really be like and promised them that, you know, that's what we, we would do. This one was Amara's bridesmaid Jess, this is the eldest daughter's. And then this over here is my bouquet that was specially made. You know, we did everything. We didn't, didn't have to lift a finger or think too much apart from me caring for Jamie, she just left me to it. I did lose my husband for a while, battling cancer. Um, he lost his personality a bit, even though he was so strong. But on the wedding day, he just shone and came out. He was smiling all day. Um, he was walking about and he even forgot to ask for pain relief. And I did remind him at the end of the evening, I said, you know, you haven't had any pain relief today. And he said, I didn't even realise, but I was on such a high from the day that he didn't need it. Everyone had a fantastic time. It's what we all talk about now. I think it saved me in a way because I brought my husband home to pass away. I didn't want him going into a hospice. But I was on my own when I saw him take his last breath. I could have the worst flashbacks, and I still do, but when they come, I can home in on the wedding day and I can see my husband again. After your work's done, it does give you this amazing feeling of satisfaction that you know that they're now married and that's it. Nothing can really break that, you know, even when that person's passed away, they're still married and that's what really matters. Being given that diagnosis, it's almost an out-of-body experience. You don't really know how you're going to deal with it until you're, you're there. Who gets the trampoline first, you or me? Devon, we don't like to be apart from him for any time, really. He doesn't know any different from mummy having cancer. He knows that I can't really go on the trampoline with him. He loves running, he knows I can't run anymore. Life doesn't just end when you, you get an illness. It can be fulfilled in so many other ways. I want Devon to think, you know, my mummy did some wonderful things for some wonderful people. And I just want to help, keep helping as many people as we can.